Box in mind. Stretching off, loosening up my joints before I do some exercise. Okay, take five, ten minutes to limber off. Okay. Today's video is uh, I'm going to do a full body game again. Okay. It's a Saturday morning, the perfect time. Saturday, Sunday mornings, best time to work out because, well, it depends if you if you work on a weekend. But I don't work at weekends. Full energy, mental focus, going to my workouts. Okay, so every Saturday, Sunday, I can do a better workout than I do during the week. Really push my progress forward. Okay, so last week I posted a video on the body game from home, home workouts, and you can see I used five kilogram weight on the on the weighted uh, on the belt, and I was doing pull ups, press ups, dips, for this. Okay, so it's a week later. I'm going to go into 10 kilograms now, okay? Again, that's quite a fast progression, okay? But I've been training for years, so it's okay for my body, you know? But um, you might just want to go to 5 to 7.5 kilograms, okay? Or you might want to stay on 5 kilograms for 2 3 weeks to build up your tendons a bit more before you try and go up more weight. But I'm going to go to 10 now because I'm trying to progress quick in my body, in my physique. Every week I'm going to try and add another 5 or 2.5 kilograms, okay? So I'm going to go and do my 50 pull-ups, 50 dips, 100 press-ups, like usual. Then I'm going to go in and do the, the death chair weights. I'm going to do uh, crunches. I'm going to do shrugs, calf raises in the home, okay? Okay, so in life you need to be progressing. You need to be getting better in life, okay? You need to be doing better every week. And the gym is one way, it's a good measure, okay? If you're getting better with your training, okay, whatever sport you do, and in in your strength and your physique, whatever it is, your fitness, that is a, a good benchmark, but you need to be getting better in your work, your social life, your, your everything, upgrade, improve, everything, okay? As a man, as anyone, but basically men, mostly men watch my channel, you know, so. Okay, you need to take the responsibility to improve yourself every week. And uh, working out is one thing. Your job, okay. You need to push harder and learn more, okay. Uh, so I got uh, my pay at my work went up just slightly um, because I worked hard all year, okay. I didn't go up much, just a little bit, but it adds up at the end of the month. And if you put in more overtime, you can get more. And it makes a little difference because if you take that little amount of extra money you invest it into something like more skills you learn okay i'm going to try and learn to do forklift soon because then i know that i'll have more value to my company or other companies if i can do the forklift as well okay and that can get me more pay so i'm going to take i'm going to save up and invest in a forklift so i've got goals for my career as well because you always want to be year by year you want to be worth more as a person so you can get paid more okay and you're not going to get worth more unless you invest in yourself okay because your employer wants to keep you at a certain level so he doesn't have to pay you too much so you need to go you need to set goals to get more qualified outside that's that's work okay but we're doing we're doing fitness again today uh i'm going to push up so watch up It's not just about being a better boxer and getting in better shape and fitness, okay? That is a, a small part of your day, an hour a day at the most. Okay, it's about everything. It's about your career, your income. Okay, you're, you should be getting better every every year, every month, every week. 
Sometimes every day, depends how, how healthy you are, you know, some days you need rest days, so you can't push as hard, but... Okay, so I just want you guys to invest in yourself, because working harder is not going to get you to the top. you got to work smarter as well. you got to research and study whatever profession you're in, okay? you got to live minimalistically, so minimalist living, okay? So find out how to make healthy meals for as cheap as you can. Don't use the gas if you don't need it. Be careful how much electricity you use. Cycle to work instead of taking the car for fuel if it's not too far. Find cut things you don't need. Cut down bills, okay? Find ways to minimalize live. Like I've got my own gym. I don't have to pay for a gym membership right now. I train from home. I have money. Whatever money you save, you need to research the next course, the next qualification, the next thing that you need to get further along that industry that you're in, okay? As a warehouse labourer, in my case, I need to get a forklift. And my job's not going to put me on the forklift because they've got people who can do it, it costs money for some reason, they just won't put me on it, okay? So I've been there for a year and two months and they haven't done anything like that, no training for me. So I'm going to have to save, minimalist live, save up whatever I can, see if I can get a finance on the course or if I can pay it back month by month. Get that course so I'm worth more so I can earn more, okay? And that's just one thing, that's part of it. Once I achieve that in a few months' time or whatever, I'll have to try and find out the next thing I need to do to get more money, to get higher up. To come, you need to be better to get more, okay? So you get what you're worth, okay? Who you are is what you manifest, so you need to become more valuable to any employer, employer or any company, okay? So that's work related. You got your fitness. I studied. I was learning for about an hour today, keeping my brain sharp, learning different areas. So you know, like you got leadership. You've got what's going on in the world. Okay, all these different things I like to study. Mindset, hope, um, keep myself sharp. Psychology, stuff like that. So I studied. I'm working out. I'm trying to improve my career. Trying to improve my skills and value. Okay, I'm going to date later. Just for, I've got some free time, free social time, so it's good to meet new new women to get out there. No real, out, no real outcome. I'm just going for fun, just going to see what happens. Uh, but dating, it's kind of a numbers game. You need to get in the flow of it. So whenever you've got free time, that's once or twice or three times a week. Working and training and fitness and all that is your priority. But if you've got some free time, instead of sitting around at home or watching TV, just go out there, go for a walk, go do something fun. No expectations, meeting new people. If you get on really well, something comes up with good. If not, then that's fine. You still went out. You still, you still put yourself out there. So still a good outcome. So there's dating, there's money, there's career, there's learning, and your mental, and there's fitness. There's many things. Okay, so I'm going to share a lot of this on the YouTube channel this year. Okay, so guys watching, I hope you're trying to improve yourself in your life and all areas as well. You're focusing on you. You're becoming better getting all areas of your life working well and improving each area of your life okay so just did 50 pull-ups for 10 kilograms 50 dips 100 press-ups i'm gonna go inside and do some weights okay that's progress last week i did it the same routine for five kilograms now i'm doing it to 10. so that's progress in my fitness my body okay and my mind as well because when you push your body your mind and your potential increase you're worth you're capable of doing more okay so that's progress already set your shit up every week or every fortnight do a little bit more write down your workouts i write on a bit of paper i did five kilograms last week this week i'm writing 10. progress